Hello and welcome, I'm Nathan 42 and in this video I'm just going to talk about some really cool 3D printed plant pods that I found on Thingiverse. So number one, we found this Aztec temple plant pot. It looks really cool. This is actually a two part print which you have the bottom part here. It's got the stairs, it's got the Aztec theme to it and if you look around it, uh, it's quite nice and symmetrical as well. Um, it has the lid which is a separate part of the print and this is the part that goes on top also houses uh, dirt material so that can add to the flavor of this thing a really cool pot on to the next one what we have here is the succulent vase now this is actually a wall mountable um, vase I guess uh, which houses these plants here they may be real they may be fake but they are the succulents uh, it's a really cool feature piece which would look really good in most modern homes um, could be uh, very nice on your wall in white or black or any other color in between really. I think you can either use uh, the two versions here, one of them uses nails, the other one I'm guessing you stick on the wall with sticky pads. And yes, as you can see this one has the uh, nail hook in as a slide thing which goes on there. And that is the succulent face. Let's move on to the next one, the self-watering plant pot. Okay, so this is a very cool one, very useful design. Uh, where you fill up the little hole here, it keeps the the, the soil wet from the bottom. All they really are is uh, plant pots which keep a very large amount of backup water. So uh, you're not supposed to fill it up all the way because <laughs> otherwise you can actually flood your plants and that's not a good thing to do. Usually you fill it up and then as it drains down, it will drain down into the bottom and your plants will be well fed for a long time. But these types of ones should make your life a bit easier. This one is the Mario Castle phase. So it looks like the Mario Castle from the game. And as you can see, uh, here he's put the um, one of the cubes next to it. Um, it looks good, it looks cool. <laughs> and uh, you know, it looks great with a little succulent in it as well. But yeah, if you're looking for some Mario themed stuff uh, for your house, then this is obviously a great thing that you can print and stick in there in a nice unsuspecting windsill to give you the gaming type theme that you have been looking for. And then next onto the baby Groot Low Poly. Uh, now I'm not really sure what that first part means but this is a low poly Groot head which we've seen here before. I'm pretty sure I printed one of these already and what happens is the top of it there's a hole so you can actually put a plant in here. I might have actually done one of these before a very long time ago. Um, this is with the head bit. <laughs> Yeah, this one is actually the planter one, so it has the bit at the top, so you can actually put a plant in there and let it grow, which is pretty cool, has a nice stay to it, and uh, I think it would look pretty good. Um, there's a couple of different recommendations for supports and stuff down here. Um, I'd say you probably could print it potentially mostly without supports. This part here would need to have supports on itself uh, to hold the chin up. Um, so it might not be perfect, you might get a little bit of overhand string in underneath here but it probably would still print and you'll probably get away with it if you didn't really mind too much. All of these things today you can print in both uh, PLA, oh well you can print in either PLA, PETG or ABS. Um, I'd recommend making sure there's watertight before you try to put plants and stuff in it and if you do go on to do that send us a picture on uh, Twitter that's handy for the two. And thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.